Welcome back and Happy New Year. We hope you all had a lovely Christmas and New Year with your family and friends. We certainly did. We did. We had all the family come to the farm for the first time, so it was it was very busy and absolutely a wonderful thing. How many people did we have here for the whole time? 13, counting Elijah, who was a new baby. Yep. Mitch and Meg's new baby. He was yeah nearly seven weeks old as well. And then the three other boys, Frank, Ben and George. So there was lots of fun and lots of activities. So we thought we'd uh, start this video for the year talking about what we did last year in 2023. Because I think sometimes... Um, you forget. Yeah, you forget how far we've come and a lot of people, we've had lots of visitors in 2023 and, and people say how much we've done. But until we actually sit down and think about it, and I mean, we're lucky we've got the, the footage to, to see, but it's nice to, to recap what, what we did um, in, in the year. And we actually achieved a fair bit. We, um, apart from me getting frustrated with the lack of progress sometimes. Um, so yes, we started off the year in January with three new lambs and, um, and that w there was a big break between the next lot of lambs. But, um, and then we started excavating for the shed and the guys did a big cut where the shed is and set up the Lucas mill to mill all the timber for the front gate area and the front fence around the house. Um, what else? They were here for many, many months, they weren't they? Were. they were. It took a long time. The timber and putting the fence up, and and they did the road as well. Oh yeah, yeah. We started excavating the road. We did a lot of excavation works, so um, reshaping all the ground around the front of the house and around the side of the sheds because um, when we arrived we had a big a big rain event like we've had just recently and all underneath the house flooded all around the house flooded there was mm. there was water everywhere yeah. um, so we reshaped all the land around the front and the side of the house so it shed the water either side also we had that big ugly pond right beside the, the house that was just too overgrown to, to um, resurrect. Yeah, and we're sitting outside where that sort of used to be. Yeah, um, we've now got a fire pit. And yeah. A, and a nice little um, garden that our daughter Bryony supplied the plants for. Yep, and so that was really outdoor nice. setting and a little paved area. Crazy paving, <laughs> yeah. There's, there's more to finish here, I think. I don't think we're finished oh. here, but we'll see. And we put in the two dams. We put in the two dams and Panda arrived. Um, Panda was our last belted Galloway cow, so she was in calf. She's since had a, a calf, Uzuri. August, Uzuri was born. Yep, so yeah. that now completes our foundation herd. Um, I'm yet to get a bull. Um, he's been ordered, so I'll pick him up this year, hopefully the end of January, February. Mm. The bull paddock's nearly finished, so that's yeah. taken me a while. And you planted all the trees down the driveway? We did. We planted lots of trees. Matt there was, was with about us. There was 40 trees down the yeah. driveway. When we did that? Lots of pink tree guards. Um, and then we started the downstairs in, in August, and that pretty much took up a lot of your, a lot of your time and energy, um, getting it ready for the family. And it worked, it worked fabulously. Worked a treat. Yeah. yeah, the kids called it the, the new home. Yeah, one of the, our little grandsons, George, started calling it new home, new home. So <laughs> that's what we've been calling it, the new home. We've got more to do down there. Obviously, there's more plastering, isn't there? And there is, just uh, finishing off the plastering. Painting and skirting boards. Decide to what to do with the floor. We think at this stage we might just paint it um, and use rugs. So just we'll, in we'll case we do that. get a flood. Yeah. Because we did get a little bit of water through, but I haven't, yeah. I haven't waterproofed the back side of the brick wall and the footings. Um, so there was a bit of water that was there, and I don't think any amount of landscaping would have fixed that. We had, I think, 500 mil of rain in December, wasn't it? End of November. End of November and into December. And I think up until now, we've had over, just over 700 mil of rain. So, which is about our yearly total, all in two and a half months. And what else did we do? We put in the, updated the garden where the corn was, oh, so yes. increased yep. the cover crop. Put in the little tote garden beds at the back. Mm -hmm. 
think I've yeah, the big yeah, shed got, ran up. got the big shed, yep. Two tanks. Two tanks got Two put tanks, in. So they were all plumbed up. Um, I think um, I think we've raised about <laughs> 80 chickens, give or take, and there's a lot at the moment, but no, half, <laughs> half those are roosters, so. There is a lot of chickens. Got some of my coloured eggs, which is what I was aiming for. Still a bit of work to be done there, but that takes a couple <laughs> of years, so. But loving my chickens. <clears throat> Every couple of weeks there's a new batch of babies. And time comes running in. Oh, I've got another baby. Yeah. So, which is mm. quite cute. What else? But it's mean? it's easier now because the, the mums are actually doing all the incubating, Absolutely. all the work, raising them. And they, they actually end up a better hen, don't they? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What else? I'm trying mm. to think. I'm sure there's many things we... Pigs. Well, we got our new, uh, our second yeah. lot of pigs. Second lot of pigs, yep. Um, Tom, Dick, and Harry. Because our first lot we got in 2022. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's been a big year. We've got lots done in in 2024. The list continues. Hopefully, we're going to start doing some things inside the house this year because we've done. I mean, you've d did lots of fencing too. You did the. I've done lots of yeah, fencing. Boundary yeah, boundary fence. Then boundary fence. Yeah. So lots of fencing you did last year. And that will continue. Probably just over a kilometre, well, nearly two kilometres of fencing we did along the boundary and other bits and pieces. Yeah. yeah, but hopefully we'll get some work done. I'm crossing my fingers 2024 will be the year of the new kitchen. So we'll see, hopefully. Yep. It will be. <laughs> it will be. There's a lot of work to be done on that. I have to get some advice on engineering um, to hold up the beams of the house because we want to pull out a wall yeah. and um, and we will have to change all the windows. We'll start off with that and reclad the outside of the house. So it'll all come in stages. It'll look fairly disheveled for a while, but... Um, yeah, that might take a couple of years to do. Yeah. Um, I think that's about all I can think of. You might um, be thinking there's other things that we haven't talked about. So in the meantime, I'll put up some footage of some bits and pieces we did while um, the family were here, just a um, bit of work with the tractor, and mm -hmm. yeah, we had a new lamb um, on the 2nd of January to welcome the new year. So I'll pop that footage up. Thanks for joining us again, and um, I hope you all have a wonderful 2024. And see you on the farm. Yeah. We've just moved the uh, sheep and the cows into the home paddock and I've been saving this paddock for ages it's um this is the paddock I've been able to water all through um winter and spring and and with all the rain that we've had we had oh shit it was about just over 500 mil about a month ago and yesterday we had 70 mil so the paddock is a bit wet but I've got all this grass that they need to chew down and trample in. We've subdivided into two so we can concentrate their grazing in, in a small spot. But they're looking extremely good. The old girls are still in fairly poor condition but they're coming much better. White face just on the other side of that black faced ewe there. She's looking so much better. Green tag. I can't see where she is, but she'll, um, she's starting to put on condition. But the cows, they don't, they're, they're probably fatter than what they need to be. Um, but they're still growing and we've got all of summer to get through. Um, but I can, I think we'll probably get three weeks out of this paddock um, in the two breaks that we've got, maybe a week in this section. You can see how long the grass is. It's up to Uziri's upper leg. But they will, they will love this and the, growing the grass out like this and then chopping it down will do wonders for the soil. I can already see parts of the soil in this paddock improving, especially over the, the back towards the bottom. It was like gravel when we first arrived and now there's a bit of humus starting to develop. There's mushroom rings developing. Um, 
so that's starting to improve the grasses there aren't, aren't overly special but there's lots of different varieties of grass there so that will help big time so it looks very nice this paddock happy new year to everybody it's uh seven o'clock on the 1st of January, 2024. Poor old green tag, she's still alive. And she's moved and she's not eating. Poor old thing. I'll just see what comes of her in the next day or so. The little you there is happy. Oh, white face down the bottom here. I think she might be pregnant actually. It's one of our little boys. Looking nice. White face has put on lots of nice condition. Haven't you done? Hey? Hey? How's it going? Cows are still happily munching through all of this. Is this spring rain? Hello, spring rain. How are you? Happy New Year. Hey. Baby Azuri and the three other girls over there. Might move the chicken caravan today put them on a fresh break make sure they've got lots of cow poo to dig through good morning Aziri how are you I've been doing some weeding in the garden and at the moment we've got a heap of kaikuya grass and the pigs just love rummaging through all the offshoots and all the nice shoots that run under the ground they just devour that so while we've got a, a lot of kaiku here, we might as well dig it up and feed it to the pigs. They love it. Ah! <laughs> I've had a few projects running lately and I've neglected the compost heap. So I'm giving that a bit of a turnover. And I just got to this pile here, which I'm just about to turn over. And there's a nice... Nice big juicy snake in there. You can probably just see his tail now. Getting lots of work done over the holidays. I'm with the family's here. But this big tree that's been down the back in the sheep yards for a while. Time to see if we can pull it out. seen that area because it was covered in old tree well done boys it's drenching time so we're between Christmas and New Year it's time to give the sheep a drench because it's been so warm and so wet that worms like to to grow so we nearly got them all in bar one we'll keep working on it they're not such fans of the special juice but oh, for the greater good because worms can devastate a flock pretty quickly if they're not drenched for the, especially the barber's pole. So we'll get through this. Hmm. 
Now they get a bit of a shower. Lucky's mum. <laughs> Come on, lucky last. Second of January, and I came out, and I knew White Face was pregnant, but I didn't know she was this close. And she's just had a baby boy lamb. Another single. That's her second single. If she was in a commercial flock, she'll, she'd be cold. And that's her, that's her um, baby. When was Bell born? Yes. February. So she's a lovely sheep now. <coughs> we'll have to think of a name for this one. <coughs> she is a good mum, though. He'll be up and about soon. Everyone else came and had a look and a sniff. Our little flock, there's Green Tag at the back there. She's looking a bit better this morning. There's Big Daddy. So our flock now is 32. Our new lamb is up and about. It's a couple of, uh, what's the time now? I think it's about 1.30. Oh, got knocked over. But he's up and about and drinking. He's moved a fair way from where he's first birthed. And mum's looking after him nicely. Helps if I get him in the shot. He's doing well. He's strong. He's had a couple of couple of sucklings. The flies are annoying white face at the moment. Poor old thing. There's no shortage of flies at the moment. With all the green manure that's around. But the little lamb is strong. I'll leave them be. Another project we've been wanting to do for a long time, just haven't had the time, is pull out the bushes at the end of our veggie garden. Really difficult to mow around and they really haven't been looked after. They're just not, not a good shape and not trees that we want to have there. We can plant some other trees there, so I was having a go at getting them out with the tractor. Zuri having fun with an empty yogurt container she found in the paddock. Must have been blown there by the wind. She keeps picking it up, putting it on her nose, and throwing it. So fun. So the fencing continues, and Robert has started to plan and work out the fencing he wants to do down the back paddock. I guess it's working out what the best way to do is to 
you know, chop this paddock up so it's usable in more blocks. So first post is in with the help of Mitch. Like lots of projects, the first thing, once you get it going, then now I've just started to put another post in up here. Because look at this one. It needs redoing. So we'll end this video here. This is the result of the fence that Robert and Mitch started. Robert's taken down the old fence and this was looking great. Re put the gate on, swung the gate, and now Robert's working on subdividing this back paddock with just electric at the moment for when we move the animals into here. And this fence is all pot wired. So it's got a nice switch here that eventually it will do the whole uh, laneway there. Slowly but surely, we're getting the fencing done. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you next time back on the farm.